Hello parents and guardians, this is a short tutorial on how to use the Genesis Parent Portal, how to log in, see your child's information and update information, as well as check your child's grades. So to get to the Genesis Portal, the first thing you can do is go to the Collingswood District website, collsk12.org, and then you're going to go up top to where it says Menu, and you're going to go down to one of two options. You can either go down under Students and Parents and click Genesis Portal Access, but the quicker option is simply to go right here where it says Genesis, and this is a shortcut to the parent portal. When you click that, it'll take you to this site page where you'll log in with your username and password. Your username will be your personal email address, and your password was sent to you by the school via email. If you lost or forgot your password, make sure that you click on the Forgot My Password option rather than just guessing, because if you guess five times incorrectly, you'll be locked out of the system, and the only way to get back in is to contact the school. So if you're not sure of your password, just click on Forgot My Password. Notice also that down at the bottom of the screen, you have an option here where it says Select Language. If you click on that, you'll see that you can translate the Genesis site into one of these many languages to make it more accessible. So if your first language is not English or you feel more comfortable working in another language, you have that option here. So you'll come up where it says username, you will enter your email address, and then you will enter your password that was given to you by the school, and you'll click log in. When you log in, normally the first page you'll see is a picture of your child or a list of your children's names where you can click on your child and see more about them. However, in my case, I'm logging into the parent portal and finding immediately that I'm taken to this pop-up form and to the forms tab. The reason for that is that I have not filled out all of the required forms for my child. In order for me to have full access to Genesis and for my child to access their information when they log into Genesis, I need to complete three required forms. Those three forms are required for all students across the district, and they include an emergency contact form, a health history form, and a Chromebook use agreement. So what I need to do once I log in, if I see this pop-up, is immediately take action to make sure these forms get filled out. Until I do it, my child will not be able to access their gradebook, and I will not be able to see my child's grades or other information as well. So once the pop-up arrives, you can click on Close, and then you'll look down and see what forms have not been submitted. And in my case here, I've not submitted my child's emergency information verification form. So I'm going to click on that right here, and it will take me straight to the form. Now this form can be filled out completely online, so you can go through, you can fill out, for example, do you give your child to go on a walking field, permission to go on a walking field trip? Are they okay for, is it okay with you if their photographs are used for school-related media? Do they have permission to receive counseling from the school? So you can go through, check all these items, check off what's okay and not okay with you. Now, next thing you'll do after you've completed all this is you'll see there's a health insurance form you'll have to complete for your child. You'll enter their primary care physician. You will enter their physician's phone number, the preferred hospital if something were to happen, all that information. Now, at the bottom, you'll see there's an option that says verification. You absolutely must click on this to move forward. So you'll have to click on, yes, I certify that I've completed all the information. You'll click on update answers. And then there's another step. You'll have to check this finalize button and then again click on update answers. And that's how you submit the form. So you've got to make sure that you're taking all those steps. So when you look at the forms library, there are two required forms. So there's four forms here, but two of them are required. One is the emergency information verification, which we just completed. The other is the student health record form. Those third and fourth forms here, the ones listed as number one and number four, are useful and worth completing if you need to, but not required. You also have down here an, applica an application for reduced and free meals. So if you are someone who is eligible or wants to find out if you're eligible for free and reduced meal, you can click on that link and you can complete that form. Now, after you've filled out the required forms in the form library, you still need to check and make sure you've completed the Chromebook verification form. So you need to also go to the Documents tab, and you'll see that here is listed this Chromebook agreement. It says Chromebook agreement and insurance, but there's no fee associated with this because of the COVID situation. So you actually are not signing on to pay any kind of money. You're just agreeing to our school's Chromebook policy. 
Even if your child doesn't have a school-issued Chromebook and is using their own device, you still need to fill out and complete this form. So you're not only agreeing to take care of a device if received from the school, but you're also agreeing to abide by our school's social media policies, our school's digital citizenship policies. So to complete this form, you click on the form itself to view it. Now know that if you click on the form, it actually will navigate you away from the Genesis site, so it'll open up a this tab, but it actually takes you away from Genesis. So after you've reviewed this form, made sure you're okay with everything, you can use the back button to go back to Genesis, and then you'll click here on the green button that says acknowledge that you have read this document. Once you've clicked that, you then have to type yes. So it takes you through a few steps to make sure you've really done what you were supposed to do. You'll then click on confirm, and now that form is listed here as digitally signed. The next step you can do now is you can access anything you want in this child's genesis, in your child's genesis. So you can go to the grade book and you can now see how their grades are in each of their classes. You can click on a grade and see the specifics. So for example, in my child's intro to psychology class, they have a 97. I can open that up and I can look and see with specific assignments that the child has completed and how they've done. So this is really useful information that you need to access to see how your child's doing, and you can only see it once you've completed those three key forms. Your child also is able to log into their Genesis and see this same information, but only after you have completed the required forms. If you haven't completed them, your child will also receive an error message that says they cannot access the gradebook. If you're an elementary school parent, you do not have access to the gradebook, but you can still use this tab that says grading, and it will give you information on how the child's grades were during the year, basically their report card information. I hope that this was a helpful tutorial, and if you have any questions, the school community is here to help you. We have lots of staff and faculty who know how to use Genesis well and will help guide you through the process. Thanks so much for your attention, and have a great day.